Today I'm opening up the Premier Palpful Pack box, which is actually their top tier monthly subscription art supply box. So let's see what's inside. Oh, and if I remember from last month, if there's brown stuff in here, it's not maggots. It's paper. There it is, <laughs> the maggots. We have paint brushes I see right off the bat. Multimedia brushes for the fine artist. <laughs> well, thank you. Looks like there's five different brushes in there. And next, <gasps> this is in my Amazon cart right now. Really gouache, gooey, gouache, gouache, only gouache. Oh, actually, mine might have been water, water gouache. What is what? Is there another kind? I think acrylic gouache is something else. Bunch of paper, mixed media, Strathmore heavyweight. Oh, we got a little palette, a little tiny plastic palette with a barcode. What on earth is this? The Paint Puck Brush Cleaner. What? Oh, it's got a little uh, suctiony cup. Paint Puck. Save time, save water, save brushes. The ultimate accessory for the common rinse cup. At the Paint Puck. No more grate. No more coil. Psh, I never used any of those. Jeez, it feels so weird. Oh, you put it in the rinse cup at the bottom of the rinse cup. For some reason, I thought it was next to the cup. That is kind of interesting. Patent pending. Paint Puck. A Paint Puck? A Paint Puck? What? What? What is this business? And that is everything. They went a little skimpy on the maggots this month. So the cool thing with the powerful packs is they pick a specific medium and they focus on that. So, so yeah, they just list all the supplies. The values of each are actually on here. That's kind of interesting. So yeah, thanks for powerful for sending me these. And now we're going to test them out. I've never used acrylic gouache before. So this is probably gonna be a disaster, but I think we'll have fun in the process. Do you hear that? Is that a spelling error or is this a Fiat brush? This is actually taped in with just tape. That's kind of weird. <laughs> so we have Carmine, Lemon Yellow, Sky Blue, Jet Black, and Titanium White. Is it gouache or gouache? Let me know. What if we make this like sort of artistic? <laughs> Paper. I'm actually really excited to try this out. I was told to avoid acrylic gouache as your first gouache, so it's a little scary. But we need to protect my desk. Palette, gouache, paint puck, paint brushes, a swatch. Okay, so there's a little suction cup on the bottom. I assume we just squish. Well, I mean, it moves around, but it doesn't come up. <laughs> you make a pink color. Oh, it's so pretty. We can make a little swatch. Oh, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was explosive. That's not like watercolors at all. If I can see how opaque these are. I didn't do this in any order for the swatches. <laughs> Oops. I think that looks, I mean, I'm gonna have to change all the water, but I feel like Look at my paper towel, there's no color on it. That's pretty cool. Drew a couple lines. Now we'll grab the white. And go on top. See how opaque it is. Look at that. Even if I don't end up being a gouache master at the end of this, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be using the white gouache for like highlights on different things. Because look at how opaque that is. It goes right over pencil. Like, can you imagine how much fun that would be? Like if you have like a marker illustration and then you just go over it with some of this white gouache for like little fine white details. Oh. Use the suction cuff to attach the puck to the bottom of your glass. I already did that. Rub the brush on the paintbrush and nub to remove the paint from your brush. Yeah, this is amazing. I love this thing. And I bet I can like pour the water out and the thing will stay in there. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna clean up this water and brainstorm. And I'll meet you back when I have an idea of what to draw. It's just a, like a floaty pick <laughs> where the character just floats. Mm -hmm. My hand hanging off the edge. I'm putting a little too much detail into this and I wanted to keep it simple. That's kind of cute, but I don't know if it makes sense, but I like it. I'm gonna change the face. Maybe more up this way. Ooh, what if she was looking that direction? Ooh, yeah, she's got a much funner face this time. Ooh, I like this. She's got a little bit more of a mischievous look this time. I kind of want the skirt to just be super explosive. <laughs> I don't know if 
I like it. It's almost like your skirt's a cloud. Ooh, what if her skirt's a cloud? And she could have like yellow lightning tights or something. And that would explain her little spiky personality. She's electrifying. This is actually turning out really, really cute. I kind of wish I didn't do it on the swatch page. Whoopsie. I'm gonna move her hand here where you can see it better. Yeah, I like that better. Oh yeah, I like that way better. Move her hand here and then she can have like a little pinky. But I do like the hand there better. Kind of like closes everything a little. Kind of want to give her heels. I'm not talking much because I'm just kind of really enjoying this. <laughs> I haven't even used the gouache yet. I'm making this so much more complicated than I meant it to be. <laughs> Let's just draw something cute and simple. It won't be difficult at all. Puts every detail known to man. <laughs> I like this. I think it turned out really cute. I'm kind of scared to destroy it. Oh gosh. I'm only mixing a couple colors because I'm trying to keep it simple. Because I'm new to everything. Because <laughs> I don't. Uh, should I lighten up the sketch maybe? Just a little. Don't want to erase everything because I need to be able to see it. Like a ton of white. And the smishish, 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 smishish. A little bit of red. Although with gouache, you can go over with white. So even if I went, it's very different from watercolor because watercolor you want to start um, light and go dark. But with gouache, you can go over with a light color, which is completely different than anything I'm used to. Got the flat wash for the skin down. Let's clean the brush. Yes, it is. <sighs> Let's do the navy blue next. Oh, I was gonna switch brushes. No, I messed up. I might do. Oh, I really like the pigment in this color. I get so like set into what I'm drawing that I, brushes, switching out brushes is something I never do. I really like the texture of it. I don't know if that's like a bad thing, <laughs> but I like the spottiness of it. It's probably people are cringing at that. Okay, yeah, let's switch brushes. Ooh, what if I use this angly brush? It's kind of the same thing, but it's got more of a point on it. You should have just drawn a bigger picture. It would have been the smart. Oh, I forgot the cloud arm things. Oops. Well, I hope that gouache is opaque. <laughs> oh, wow. I bet with another coat, that would be com you would not see the pink. I'm not set on the yellow hair though. I don't know. This yellow is not opaque at all right now. That's kind of this way. I'm seeing the pencil through it completely. I also kind of like these yellow shoes because they make me think of rain boots, <laughs> even though they're high heels. Okay, I'm gonna switch to the round five brush. Oh yeah, I can get a lot more detail with this. This was a good choice. Smaller brush for small drawings. Maybe your eyebrow should be that color too. Let's just forget this cloud until I come back to it. <laughs> it's getting in my way. Now, do I want the leggings to be like rain or by like, like the night sky, that puck? I just I just dipped it in water, did what I would normally do, and then the blue was right there. But then I used the puck, and it's freaking gone. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Might have to make this back cloud darker if I decide to shade that cloud. Oh no, am I running out of the color? Oh no, am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? What's oh, this fuzzy? Does that come from the brush? Is the brush losing bristles? Oh no, that is the worst. Yeah, this brush isn't that great. It's starting to lose bristles. That's a bit of a disappointment because I don't know where to find good brushes. So the only ones I ever get are in subscription boxes, but these aren't that great or I'm just being too hard on them, but that's just what I'm going to do. So if I can't hold up to that, then it's not the brush for me. Standards. Oh, I did the wrong side first. Shoot. True testament to my shaky hand. Ah! I added a little bit of shade into that back cloud. Oh, that's really bothering me that that one's up so high. It's too bubbly. I can try going over it with white and fixing it. Or I can bring this piece down. It's getting a little bit more darker as it dries. Ooh, I guess maybe it was the right color. 
thought we can blend that pretty well to kind of a smooth look. So I never did her lips. What color are her lips gonna be? Probably the navy blue. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I cannot see what was underneath it, so <laughs> might be a little random. So not her final eyes, I just wanna add some color in there. Might be time, oh wait. I wanted to do her uh, leggings to look like rain. So I guess I need the light blue color again. Everything needs to be the light blue color. I knew I was gonna end up using a lot of white. And then the picture ends up being way more pastel than I anticipated, so it's even more white. It's like my favorite color. Look, it matches my nail. And I just draw little raindrops. Hmm. Does it look like raindrops? It's giving me Miss Frizzle vibes. Look at me not entirely sure if it looks like raindrops or like really weird leg hair, but it's all right. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I like the pattern. All right, so now that we have all the colors down, I think it's time to add the final thing, which is the lines, which usually brings everything together. You add the lines and it's like, whoa! But I need to make a decision if I wanna make black lines or use colors that more complement the colors that are, are surrounding it. Like how I did the cloud, I did blue instead of black. Try and fix that mistake. <laughs> Probably outline all the clouds in the navy blue. I'm not talking because this is really taking all of my concentration. I'll check up and I'll check back in with you when this is done. Or if something terrible happens. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with navy blue and outline everything. I kinda like this color. So yeah, I'm like very shy with these tools. Or with these paints, because I've never used them before. But I guess that's probably to be expected. Oh, well, I guess you could use a nose, maybe. Oh, the sun thing. <laughs> kind of want to give her blue freckles. Would that be weird? I really like this, though. I think it turned out really cute. You can definitely tell this isn't a supply that I use all the time, but... Like, I feel like... I don't know, I don't think I did too bad. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> this looks really, really fun. I've never used these before and I'm kind of in the... Little highlight for the eyeballies. Maybe the cheeks. Maybe the cheekies. And if you are wondering, her name is Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Just made that up on the spot. I wonder where the inspiration came from. Make this look a little fluffier maybe by adding more white. Not that it needs it. It looks pretty fluffy to me. I used all the colors. I actually used every single color. Cause I mix the black with the blue to make that navy blue. Mm. I think I, I think I, I did it. I think I did it. Ah! <laughs> I'm actually really happy with this. It's so cute. I guess I should sign it. Should I sign it in gouache? See, I'm learning. I'm learning. There we go. <laughs> Not how you would sign any with a pen, but I tried. So oh, very happy with this. <laughs> I think it turned out cute. Here, let me show you up close. So we have the swatches. The thumbnail and then the finished illustration. How cute! I was really happy with this. But this thing, I'm gonna be using this all the time with my watercolors. <laughs> this was amazing. I had no idea. I, I don't know why something so simple works so well, but paint puck. <laughs> you just suction cup it. So cool! Yeah, I should not have stuck my fingers in there. That was weird and cringy. Water. It's like green milk. So yeah, that was the May Palette Full Pack box. Um, if you're interested in getting your own subscription, I'll have a link in the description. And uh, so yeah, thanks to Palette Full for sending me this box to try and share with you. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. And I hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye. Yeah, I didn't mention this when I was filming it, but I just look, look how thick this paper is. Can you even? I was just putting everything away and I'm like, hey, that didn't work at all. What the fuck? This is a massive piece of paper. I did not look at what this says. Yeah, there's 12 sheets in here. Heavyweight mixed media paper. Holy moly. That's insane. How cool is that? It's like a giant thick thing. <laughs>